Hey guys, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Consider joining my community of muses by subscribing and tapping that little notification bell. Well, today is day 11 of our 21 days of gratitude. I can't believe it. We're like halfway through you guys. And for today's video, I wanted to discuss a hobby that I am grateful for. A hobby that I am grateful for is yoga. If you follow me on Instagram or seen any of my earlier videos, then you might be aware of the fact that I had reconstructive surgery earlier this year to repair a torn ACL. It was the ACL in my right knee that I ended up tearing. Prior to the surgery, I basically fell into a very sedentary lifestyle as a result of my injury. So I went through five months of physical therapy after my surgery, but once that phase of my recovery was completed, my knee just didn't quite feel right. It didn't feel as optimal as I was hoping it would feel, at least at that point. In the spirit of transparency, I will disclose even now, almost 10 months post-surgery, my knee still doesn't feel quite right. I am naturally hyperextended in my legs, but now, since the surgery, my right leg doesn't straighten completely like it used to. It's a really odd feeling standing on both legs and feeling as if one leg is constantly bent. So yeah, even with physical therapy, I still didn't feel quite myself. I was used to having more endurance and strength and flexibility in my leg. By no means was I pumping weights or anything like that but I could at least support my body weight and I was limber. Like my body overall had strength. So once physical therapy ended and then I did a few months of working out on my own after that, I basically developed this yearning to pursue yoga. Yoga was something that I had done in the past, especially hot yoga, which I loved. I had a lot of fun doing hot yoga. It was a great way for me to work out, focus on the present, connect with my body, as well as sweat out some toxins. I would feel so good after completing one of those hot yoga classes, like almost renewed, like a cleanse. So of course, given the state that my body was in, I was yearning for that feeling again. But let's be real, I, I was a bit hesitant, a bit intimidated about jumping back into something like that, back into yoga of all things, especially post ACL surgery because yoga requires like a different level of focus, strength, and coordination, especially depending on the type of yoga you are practicing. Eventually I bit the bullet, I bought a pass for a yoga studio near me and I went ahead and took some classes and they were Awesome. I took a variety of classes to try to get a feel for the different types that they offered. And you know what? I was actually amazed by what I could still do physically. And then I was also able to better comprehend what limitations that I would need to now work through in order to restore my knee to where I would like it to be. After those classes, I was starting to feel like I was becoming reacquainted with my body again. But yeah, I'm taking it slow. I'm not trying to re-injure myself, hurt myself, anything like that. I'm taking it slow. As a matter of fact, I've been a bit bad and I haven't gone the past few weeks. I got reasons, although some of you might consider them excuses, but I do have reasons. I was out of town for a period of time. I had family who flew in. They were visiting me, so I wanted to be around for them. And then probably the biggest reason of them all is I don't really have the funds right now to purchase more classes. If you are a yogi, if you take yoga classes, or any sort of specialty classes, you know that they're not cheap. So I try to do either like a monthly membership, like an unlimited membership, or I'll buy class packages. You know, if you buy in bulk, usually there's some sort of discount. 
but you have to have the money in order to buy those classes in bulk you know what I'm saying so I'm hoping I can sit down and redo my monthly budget in a way that allows me to take advantage of their class packages or their monthly membership so that I can go to yoga regularly like you know three to four times a week like that will be my physical activity. I am grateful for yoga because I honestly believe it is what my body needs right now in order to get back on track health-wise. I wanna feel like myself again. Well, actually, I wanna feel more like an upgraded, new and improved version of myself, but you know what I mean. Now it's your turn, y'all. What hobby are you grateful for?